and welcome to A Moment with Mozart. I thought I'd start our lesson outside in the dark, and you may be asking, well, why? Well, the song that you heard leading in to our program today is his most famous piece called A Little Night Music, or Eine Kleine Nacht Music. It didn't become his most popular piece until after he died. They think it was written as a hostess gift. Unfortunately, it was published after he died. It would have made him some serious money. Eine Kleine Nacht music is a string quartet, but it has been orchestrated and is most usually performed by a full orchestra today. If you become any kind of classical musician on just about any instrument, you will play Mozart, you will sing Mozart. So let's explore him a little bit further, and I hope we have fun doing it. See you in a second. I'm going back inside where it's light. We continue with our study of Mozart by looking at a couple of his pieces that illustrate really what his music was about. We know that he was a boy wonder. He began composing at the age of four. His father, Leopold, who was a respected composer and music theorist in his own right, saw the genius of his son and gave up his own career to help further his sons. And he was billed as the best protege on the piano ever. I mean, so no pressure, right? But what he loved to do is number one, write a beautiful melody, and number two, then play around with it. So this is his piano sonata in A major. Just a little snippet of it. It's very simple. You'll be able to hum it after I play it. That's a tune that's very easy to pick out. Now, what used to drive his competition absolutely batty is that he could take that melody, turn it around, decorate it, and do all sorts of things with it. This is variation number one of the sonata in A major. but he started to play with it. The first time I looked at this piece, I thought, oh, what a nice short piece. It begins on page 196 of my book. And then I looked at variation one, ends on page 197. Oh, there's variation two. come to a version that he made called Ala Turka. Now, unbeknownst to myself, when I finally got to it, it was time to learn this, I had played this little section as a young piano student. Many of you probably have played this. This is another variation on this sonata. why we need to practice Mozart. One wrong note can derail the whole performance. It sounds very simple, but he's actually very, very complicated to play. Mozart died extremely early. He only made 600 pieces. Only. He was only 35 when he died, though. Brilliant. There's not a single one that wasn't a hit. Unfortunately for Mozart, his A Little Night music did not become a hit until after. In 
In Mozart, we have a phenomenon called trouser rolls, in which a mezzo-soprano, which means medium soprano, she doesn't go quite as high as the other ones, will play a young man. This happens in many of Mozart's operas. In The Marriage of Figaro, our young man, Cherubino, is indeed played by a girl. And he is at that time of his life where he is in, just in love with everybody he sees. And he's like, I don't know what's happening to me. His aria, non so più, I don't know. He's saying, I don't know what's happening to me. You can hear a young man's frantic, oh, help me, I don't know what's happening to me. Every woman I see is beautiful. So. Non so più, cosa son, cosa faccio? Ma di fuoco lo so, cosa io ho giù? Ogni donna che giorni quale, ogni donna mi fa palpitar. Ogni donna mi fa palpitar. You can hear it in Mozart's music. You don't even have to be a great actor to sing Mozart because it's given to you in the music what you should be feeling. Heartbeat. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear, oh dear, what's happening? Mozart was a genius at putting to music what people felt. In The Marriage of Figaro, the Countess is very sad through most of the opera. She thinks that she's an old lady, that her husband no longer loves her, and she sings very slow, very sad songs. Her aria called Dove Sono, where, where have all the good times gone? Basically, where is the love we once felt for each other is very slow, very drawn out. It sounds simple, but listen to how much breath it takes. When she finally decides that she's going to get mad, we can hear it a little better. all the time and he's betrayed me and I'm mad but you can hear it it's very easy to go to a Mozart opera and know exactly what they're saying without having to read the words all right for this next segment I'm going to sing one of my favorite roles ever she's an angry mother she's the queen of the night and she is really mad at her daughter Pamina because she didn't do the one thing I asked of her come on one favor we find out that what she asked was pretty horrible, and so we don't mind that Pamina hasn't done it. This is the Queen of the Night. Now just imagine your mother singing this to you next time you don't clean your room. <laughs>
Friends, the music of Mozart is absolutely worth your time. Look it up. Anything you find is worth listening to. I'm not even going to give you any more hints than I've already given. Anything you can find of his is brilliantly written, brilliantly orchestrated, and just sprang from the mind onto the page of a master. He was one of the true musical geniuses that have ever lived, in, in my humble opinion, but it's not just my opinion. A lot of wonderful musicians feel that same way about Mozart. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you've watched this video before you try to take the quiz. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff on it. Take care.